What's good, everybody? It's your boy on it all. Play K Clutch and Keep 24 7. And we are here showing you guys a little bit of defensive tips to help you guys that don't know how to play the game of Madden try and get a little sense of how things are working and try to help you guys out a little bit. So, one thing I definitely want to show you guys is not on the offensive side, but we're going to flip it over to the defensive side. And uh, first thing I'm going to do is just run a random play and just get the ball out of his hands. You know what I'm saying? And, um,. What we're going to do is teach you guys how to run a little blitz in 3 4 odd. I'm using, uh, what you call it? I'm using Giants playbook, but really any playbook that has 3 4, 3 4 odd in it, you can definitely use this. It is cover 3 Scott, one of the basic plays to use in the game. And here I'm going to do it against, let me see, I guess I'm going to go to Bunch. Yeah, we'll just do any random. Yeah, any random play in bunch. So really, I'm gonna go ahead and set it up. And this is really it. This is how it shows. It really isn't that much, but um, definitely is a good way to get it. Enough little pressure in the game and get a nice little lurk, as you guys can see there. Anthony Hitchens, ex-Cowboy, you know what I'm saying? But um, definitely with this, you can do it in many different ways. It's definitely a universal um, blitz to do it. You can do this in cover three. You can do this in uh, cover two, um, even cover four. But you make sure you got to do it the uh, right way see like we're just out here snagging every single thing um let me go ahead and show you guys what is going on here um really these two middle linebackers well these linebackers are sitting on the outsides is trying to get pressure while we still got the d line getting out and if i want to depending on how the defense um is playing and how the offense depending on how he's passing if he's going towards the middle of the field i'm keeping his route there um if it's going down to the um to the flats or anything like that i'm fake blitzing the outside on one of them and then i'll just use it the other side with my user and why i am hovered here on top of the um what you call it why i'm hovered over top of the o-line is just so it can mess up the offensive line a little bit because there's a little bit of a glitch in madden 20 but really this has been going on for years Somebody just really picked up on it and really just like, let's go ahead and just try this out. So, really, right here you can see these two just coming in free. If this running back wasn't here, he's just coming in just smooth. Over here is basically the same thing, but the tight end kind of caught up to him. Either the outside linebacker is swerving inside like he did on this play, or he's coming here on the um, outside, which he should be anyway on either side so it doesn't matter what play they're doing um whether it's single back or it's really um like s let me see what it's called single back or they're doing a uh, strong uh, gun but really any play they're coming in um we'll do any random pass play and this is really my go to right here is just to start off I'm sitting here sending six I'm sending six keeping him right here my man uh, Houston or whatever linebacker that you have right here unless you play Mutt or CFM this is like some of the plays that I'm here showing you guys that you can use on Mutt and CFM or regs or anything like that you don't need to have chemistries or have certain type of routes to do anything if you can do it in regs and CFM you can do it in Mutt too and that's what I like to find. I don't like to find stuff that can only do in mutt and you can't do anywhere else, which kind of defeats the purpose. Um, but these two uh, outside linebackers is coming down to the outside just to come and do what they need to do. Sometimes they will come into the inside, which would be all, well, great as well, because I'm sitting here making sure the offensive line is getting confused. So maybe my speed linebacker come come through here in the middle if my outsides get um, blocked, like um, Cook can come in easily block my man's on the outside that's why i send the extra one so really this the setup is really simple i'm gonna sit here and wait until the computer go and hike the ball i guess i got like a left trigger which is stupid um 
really sitting here on the outside and you see how my man just came straight through don't even worry about them getting the catches just showing you how the pressure is coming in and really is really great against five linemen because all i got to do is just send the five and i should be straight i don't really need to send the um extra uh what you call it i don't really need to send the extra linebacker in the back i can just put him back in the um in a hook or something like see this is what's going on every single time he's just going on the outside going straight for the quarterback literally it's like one two literally he's at the quarterback in two seconds either you got a running back you need to have a running back to block this this isn't like an unstoppable unstoppable blitz this is really stoppable you can block the running back to shift one and then on the other side just shift the line to the other side and id him that's all you got to do so it's not it's like it's not a blitz like you can't just not stop it's definitely an easy block that you can do. I'm going to go ahead and move them out to this side. Really here, I just base line pressed just so they can come back to the line. But it's really an easy setup. I'm going to go ahead and show you why here. And it's like it's like that's, that's just every single time. I can send five and let it go. So here... There's nobody that's going to be, he's somebody already having the outsides. Either you keep it like this or you shake underneath. He's going out there like this. And then soon as you, as soon as he hikes it, I'm going over here using this underneath because my man's over here on this side is going underneath or you can block him and do the same thing over here. So now I went and blitzed him, then fake hike. So now he's covering up top. My man's over here on this side is going underneath. So I can just go ahead and guard the middle if I want to, which I would do right here. Boom, guard in the middle boom all that is just locked up and we getting pressure in so really all you got to do on this play is l1 and slant outside which is right stick up and then r1 and pinch the um linebackers really all you have to do and here you can just keep this as a four-man blitz and try it like this but really it's not going to have the same effect as it is if you send five people so really what I do right here is blitz X and then in this situation I will buff blitz which is double tap R1 circle and right on the right stick which means now he's going to fake blitz and then come back and play deep but if it's a running play they will come and sack the running back or the quarterback because they was going to blitz anyway so they're just going to keep coming. And it's basically like a man, like how man automatically keeps you from the run. And as you can see right there, a great example of what I was talking about. They're coming in every single time. Basically, this result that you're having here of the Blitz is the same thing as we had last year with contain. Really, like, you don't have to contain to get this. That's how fast he's coming in. And here on this side, I faked it. So there's nothing coming on this side. The middle linebacker was supposed to loop around so he can have some extra pressure just in case 50 gets picked up but he got stopped within a line and everybody shifted to the right but other than that i'm right here on the line just so the edge can come out and do their thing let me go ahead and fix it back That uh, should be fine. Now, what I'm doing here to make sure that everything is working well, double tap triangle, circle, and square. If you're on PS4 or Xbox, you should same thing. And I'm putting them in an outside quarter. I mean, outside quarter. So that means they won't get beat burnt. I mean, get burnt deep and make sure everything is good on that side. So depending on who you want to use and who you think is going to get the most pressure, you go ahead and use or that. Uh, we're going to clear the shift on that. There we go. And really, they're spreading to the outside. So my man's right here can go ahead and get on this outside uh, tackle. So that means the linebacker can just come free. And I'm just sitting here just so I can make that happen. Boom. And then they're just coming in free every single time. But people are definitely going to pick up on this. So what you could do is this and buff blitz 
both of them. And then what you do, they're using the uh, top and user in the bottom. That's what you can do. He, um, you got a safety cover underneath, kind of middle linebacker cover in the outside, just in case. And then you just have to choose the right one to go. Boom, go underneath. Boom, and it's just a bag. Except the computer knows where every single thing is going on at any certain time. But really, yeah, that's the way that I like to bullets. I don't really need to sometimes, so that means I'll just go ahead and put him in the underneath, have him going to the outside, and this can work out too if you really wanted to. Boom. And he's just coming in screaming all by himself. He doesn't need the he doesn't really need to have anybody else come and help him out. Five people is identical to what you need to have this works because he's already come they're already coming in on the outside. Really don't need to do anything. You can do the same thing in cover two. Really easy. Um I mean, let's do this it I guess we're doing that. Really here in this situation, I like the cover three situation here more because they're not playing underneath. They're playing over top as well as cover three. You got a middle linebacker that has great jumping going to the uh, tops. But here, if I'm doing cover two, I like to spread the, um, the safeties out and bringing them in a little bit so they won't be uh, trailing as much. And if I wanted to, I could go ahead and blitz myself. But really, boom, doing what I need to do, getting into the outside. And, yeah, it's really much it. Really don't need to do anything else. If I go ahead and blitz something, I just know that I got a user that top. I mean, the um top of the field. Boom, I'm going right up to the top. But then that means I have more work on myself because I have to worry about the underneath and the over top. You can bait the over top. And, uh make sure the underneath is right you can even stick it to like this and Mike can get if the tight end isn't blocking yeah this is going in boom but he got stuck over on uh what you call it he got stuck on a tackle but really that's all the bliss that you can do you can do this in any certain thing you can do this in cover two man do the same thing boom boom and then put the safety on him I'll go ahead and use it this right here as a matter of fact, you can blitz and do it like that. So that means the middle linebacker is doing all his blitzing and DBs and can just go ahead and man everybody up, up to you. And then you just do what you need to do and cover the right route. It's just depending on how the person is playing and if you really want to send pressure or not. But that's it. And the setup, I forgot to show you how to set up. My fault. Uh, so spread D-line out. If you want to blitz both of the... Um, as a matter of fact, you can just... Uh, what you call it r1 and right stick down and just blitz everybody which is actually faster and then do whatever you want to the um oh, i can't do it that way you can go ahead and man everybody will do what you need to do there boom and you just know what's open so you got to go to that boom that's why i don't uh cross do that type of cross man because that cross man don't work don't don't even try it but really that's all you can do with this really nice universal glue cover two cover three cover one and that's it this is basically what i like to do here in cover two cover three is the same thing except you're not uh what you call it except you're not putting the middle linebacker in deep blue you're having him blitz and really that's all you need to do boom 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 blitz and the great thing about this as a run you can go ahead and uh set this up to it will be a really great contain to uh to the run because you got people going to the outside and you got that delay with the middle linebacker so it's a really good delay look at this it's just coming in every single time and that's what you want that consistency when you're playing against somebody that they're just coming in on the outside and if you want to, you can go ahead and come in the inside. That's why that middle linebacker blocking this man on the outside, that's pretty key to why you need that running back because then you're just going to keep getting screamed at like this. Boom. And what I, if I wanted to, I could come straight through. But I'm sitting here using. I'm up top. I just stand back, let them do what they need to do. Boom. They're coming every single, every single time. But that's what you can do 
with uh, cover three, cover two. You can even do cross man with it. I'm gonna show you cross man real quick. Cross man is really this. I mean, not cross man. Crossfire is the same thing. Any random pass, and then just blitz all boom, and you can sit right here with it stay here and this is where i came up with it first just blitzing all the linebackers and have them in a loop this is kind of different you can do cover three and have them come in straight through or you can stand right here and have them come in in a loop boom i'm standing right there come in looping and just have it come in like that so it's definitely up to you depends on how you want to do it but if i'm doing a loop i am standing right here on this side every single time boom if i want to i'm standing right there doing what i need to do boom but that's the blitz hopefully you guys enjoyed it make sure you guys go ahead and hit that like if you guys want some more tips subscribe if you guys are new and other than that it's been your boy underdog fly peace out